All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. As much as we look at building out Lodi, it's the best budget skins, the crazy skins, one thing I have never really paid any attention to is trade-ups. So that's like, going in here, use the trade-up, what we're going to do. I've never really paid much attention to it, and this is going to mark the first step of like making a step into that side of the skins market. Now, before we go into it, I know you guys want to know what is the giveaway item for today, and I'm actually super excited for this one because it's a Neon Revolution. It's one of those 50-50 skins that not everyone likes, the 0.25 field test, so quite nicely in the middle of the field test range. Still looks really good in my opinion. I think if I went back to the green or pink loadouts, I'd definitely be picking one of these up. In your requirements, as usual, I'll make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below, ideally, of a trade-up you would like to see me do. Now, if you'd like to see these lovely giveaways continue, then please check out today's sponsor, CSGO Empire. Do you want to buy CS skins for the lowest prices with 0% fees? Of course you do. And CSGO Empire allows you to do exactly this. For example, I got my new knife for 6% under buff price thanks to the auction system on CSGO Empire. I make that deal. So whether you're hunting for budget gems or insane skins to flex, with instant cash rates available, 0% fees, a peer-to-peer -peer system, 24-7 customer support, no wager requirements, and a wide range of deposit and withdrawal options, this makes the CSGO Empire Marketplace the best place for you to buy and sell skins. So make sure you check out the link in the description or the pinned comment if you want to try it out. And thanks again to CSGO Empire for sponsoring today's video. Now, as I've detailed, this is something very new to me. I have not looked at the trade-up side of things. And with that, I've made a mistake while planning today's video. And I'll show it now. Now, I have made three planned trade-ups. The first one you can see here is from Tent 9 Valley Camos, some orange peels and carbon fibers into these skins. However, it seems that it's if we do make profit, we're kind of banking on this 30% Vari Campbell coming through. If this one doesn't come through, we're kind of buggered. So it's not as guaranteed on the profit side as we would have liked, but still a 30% chance is pretty solid. For the next one, we have these R8 revolvers and then the Cobalt Calls. Um, cost this turned to be at $2.64. Now, the Stone Cold in Minware is definitely worth more than $2.17. This is taking third market prices. I'm running fully with Steam prices here just for convenience, and I'm also working in Pound. But... Again, unless we get a stone cold or the special delivery, kind of buggered. But there's like a 26% chance between those, so, you know, fingers crossed. And then the third one, I've not even bothered putting the floats in properly because I got a bit annoyed when I found out that I'd done them kind of incorrectly. You can see here, a ton of scrolls and then a mischief. This is actually from Atashi in the Discord server. I put in, in the skin section, I asked for some suggestions. They said they did this trade recently and it went fairly well. However, I'm not sure how good profit's going to be here. Because I think what we're basically banking on is a Battle Scarred Night Terror, which is 14% chance. And because I've not changed the throats, it's not shown properly, but all these skins are Battle Scarred. We'll see, we'll see in a second. So the whole purpose of this was to try and find like profitable trade-ups that we can, you guys could do to slowly build inventory value or slowly get into it if you're not working with anything crazy. My first one costs a, well, I almost said a dollar, 1.40 in total. And this is a Vari Camel. So we're going to do these, three of these, and then we had five of the orange peels. If I'm correct, I'll show you six of the orange peels. And then we had a carbon fiber. With three Vari Camels, it's like 56 pence. Orange peels for six of them is 69 pence. And then a carbon fiber is 15 pence. As we say, I'm not 100% sure what the outcomes are going to look like. But let's go three, two, one. What do we get? At Damascus Steel, I feel like that's not going to be profit. So it is minimware. Look wise, it's a 0 0.10. And it's a Damascus Steel SG. I feel like this is super cheap. It's currently one pound and one pence. So we lost 40 pence of value in this. Obviously, if you did sell it for one pound or one, you're probably only going to get you 89. So technically, we lost 50 pence on this trade up. Then the second one is using the four survivalist R8 and then a ton of these cobalt cores or cobalt cores, if I can speak properly. Again, this one's total cost is three pound 30 for those. Revolver spent survivalist is at pound forty four for four of them, and the cobalt calls for six of them is a pound eighty six. Again, I'm not hundred sure how the outcomes are going to look now because it's so scuffed at the minute. But we'll see. We got a stone cold, which was probably what we wanted from this. So this is good. This is a thirty percent chance coming in. Again, minware and float should be zero point zero eight, and it is. 0.082 okay so what we're finding out here and someone did mention in discord that when we're doing these trade-ups float matters like i know i know float matters in regards to get, like, securing a factory new or minware stuff like that but like the the one tiny variance in a float for one item can drastically change the like the outcome it seems so 
that's what for the future videos of these when you guys are giving me suggestions i'm gonna need to be aware the floats matter but a 0 0.8 which is a nice min a nice low float minware hopefully gets us money back i'm not 100 percent sure okay it had a spike because someone bought one for 12 quid i don't know why that was but 2.52 which would be 2.19 which means basically a pound has been lost in the trade-up you might get a little bit of overpay for the float but i don't think it's going to be enough to get to that three pound 30 value okay and now this is the trade-up with the mischiefs and the scrolls this total cost was 63 pence and what we want to get is a dreams and nightmares collection drop to get the night terror in battle scarred i actually have a 0 0.990 mischief in here which I'm hoping if we do get the Night Terror, it's going to help the float to be worth a bit more because it'll go even more purple. This is the third and final trade we're going to do right now. I do have a case to open as well. We'll have a look at that in a second. But come on, we need a Night Terror. Uh, we didn't get a Night Terror. We got a zombie event, so it's been horrible. We've got the right bloody collection though. Uh, so, so, we got the right collection, just the wrong skin. Float-wise, a 0 0.32 it turned out to be for the zombie offensive, so not exactly. How the hell was I going to get a high float? I don't know how these floats work. That's so weird. I would somehow get a high float night terror, but I don't get a high float zombie offensive. I don't know. This is why I need job, guys. Trade-ups are just a hugely complex area of CS, it seems to be. Price of this one is literally 20 pence. Uh, so we've lost again. Not even made half back on that one. So that's why I only did three to begin with. Because, as I say, I am very new to the trade-up side of things. And figuring out it seems to be a little bit tricky. But I want to go through the process with you guys. So, like, we collectively can improve and figure out what trade-ups are actually worth doing. I do have a snipe back case to open to, which we'll do in a second. So what we basically need to do is... Fig I'm going to spend some time. And if you guys want to get involved in the skin section in the Discord, which is linked down below. We'll be able to take a look and sort of figure out what trade-ups we should maybe look at doing. Or if it's just a case of... Are there many cheap ones, or is it mainly just ex more expensive ones that you're looking at? Or, again, would you be better off just going and buying the skins that you want? Speaking of buying the skins that you want, you should go over to CSGO Empire with your money, rather than opening cases. However, do as I say, not what I do. We have a snake bite case. The one of the cheapest cases. I got a drop the other night. I'm still yet to get a knife on a site from a case, or from CS for a case. We just got awful luck. And that awful luck's going to continue one way or another with a field test of windblown. Well, guys, that is definitely going to be a shorter video today, but it's something different that I wanted to try. You can let me know if you like it. If you guys hate it and you, you don't want to see trade-up content, that's fine. Just let me know in a nice manner, please. Please still hit the like button. Just let me know down below. This isn't the content you want to see. Or if it is, obviously get involved in the comments and let me know trade-ups you think I should be doing. Obviously, if there's any trade-ups in particular that you actually want to see me do, put them in the details, like put the details in the comment or in the Discord, and we'll do them the next time we do a trade-up video. Then, just a reminder of the giveaway for today. It's going to be for this AK Neon Revolution Field Test It. Entry requirements are hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. And then that's how you'll be entered. Winners will be picked in Discord in a few days' time. So make sure you're there. We did have some unclaimed prizes. We had to redraw. We're still waiting for some of the winners to come and claim those. But I said that one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you're better with trade-ups than I am. But we're going to grow together and get better at it. I'll catch you in the next one. Good. Bye.